Let's talk about the term welfare queen. The term welfare queen, it wasn't just a term that was used by racists to demonize black women, but the term welfare queen was actually originally attached to a real person. Her name was Linda Taylor. And back in 1974, she was identified by Chicago Tribune journalist George Bliss as someone who was a welfare chief. She was someone that was actively collecting welfare benefits while driving around town in luxury vehicles. And because of that, she was dubbed, given the moniker, the welfare queen. Enter this guy, Ronald Reagan. You see, back in 1974, when George Bliss was writing those articles about Linda Taylor and giving her the moniker, the welfare queen, two years after that, Ronald Reagan decided to run for president. And one of the policies that he was running on was welfare reform, you know, reforming the welfare system because of welfare fraud. And during one of his campaign speeches while he was running for president, he told the story of Linda Taylor, the welfare fraudster. He said, and I quote, she used 80 names, 30 addresses, 15 telephone numbers to collect food stamps, social security, veterans benefits for four non-existent deceased veterans husbands. Her tax-free cash income alone has been running $150,000 a year, end quote. Was Linda Taylor a fraudster? Yes. Was she a scam artist? Absolutely. But Ronald Reagan telling that story was an absolute lie. And during that speech, I must mention, there's no note of him actually using the term welfare queen or using Linda Taylor's name. The facts are Linda Taylor was indicted on 31 different counts of alleged receipt of illegal welfare benefits, medical assistance, food stamps, social security and veterans benefits. She was found guilty and was sentenced to three to seven years in prison. Don't quote me on that three to seven, but she did go to prison. The total value of the benefits that she stole back in the 1970s came to $8,865, allegedly. But get this, not only was she a scammer slash fraudster, but she was also suspected of kidnapping and murder. Now, she was questioned in regards to the alleged kidnapping, but she was never questioned or arrested or anything in regards to the alleged murder. Now, listen, this is how Linda Taylor slash the welfare queen gets tied to black people, specifically black women. Now, some people believe that Linda Taylor was white. But I believe Linda Taylor was racially ambiguous. And because she was a scammer slash fraudster, in order to run her scams, she would have to wear different disguises. And she was known to switch between a black woman and a white woman. To be a white woman, she would purposely wear uh, lighter makeup than her skin tone, and she would wear her own natural hair. But when she wanted to present as a black woman, she would do the same, wear darker makeup, and she would put on an Afro wig. No one really knew Linda Taylor's racial makeup. Her mother was white, but no one knew who her father was. And she had a deeper complexion, right? She wasn't black, black like me, or she wasn't white, white, but yes, they knew she wasn't white. And so what ends up happening? The white community where she grew up in, in Alabama, they shunned her. 
and she was perceived as black, which led to racists using the term welfare queen as a racist stereotype. And they would use that racist stereotype to demonize black women. Now, this was a couple of decades ago, right? It wasn't socially acceptable to call people the N-word during this time. And so what would they do when they had a problem with black women? You welfare queen. Now, look at this comment. Your EBT card is safe in the mail. The reason why he mentions EBT is because EBT is tied to welfare. EBT is an electronic system that is used to distribute public aid like food stamps and SNAP benefits um, by way of dollars to the recipient. And it's loaded on a debit card. So when a racist use the term EBT, it is now in place of welfare. And what do all ignorant racists believe that black people are on welfare? These comments prove that racists have not evolved for the better over the years. Even though society has moved forward, they have not evolved from when the term welfare queen first came out. And for whatever reason, they think we can't put one and two together to get three. One being welfare, two is now EBT to get to three demonizing black women. Mm -hmm. Over the years, they have not become more educated or smarter. They just continue to try to hurt black women um, by hurling these racist stereotypes and trying to demonize us. However, it hasn't worked and it will not work. Why? Because I know, me specifically, it won't work on me. I know that black women are the most educated group in this country. I also know that even though black women face insurmountable hurdles Black women are the fastest growing group of black business owners. And even though they try hurling these racist stereotypes to demonize us black women, I know that black women have become a powerhouse, an important voting block here in these United States. I know that black women are seeking they're healing and they are adamant about living healthy and happy lives. And lastly, I know that an uneducated, ignorant racist who's hurling the same old racist stereotypes from 20 years ago, I know that that won't stop us. I hope you have the life you deserve.